Hello, and thank you for joining us today. We are excited that you are here, and we are excited to share our lesson with you. But first, we have some announcements. Yes, continue to bring your money and continue to saving, saving your money for BGMC. We are so excited about each week you guys bringing in your offering for our missionaries all around the world. We have a pretty big goal this year. Cody? 5K. 5000 Yes, $5,000 for our BGMC missionaries. And I think we can do it. Yes. And Cody has kept telling me he wants to do a challenge. Mm -hmm. And I've kind of been nervous to let him announce So give it. us some challenge ideas in the comments. Yes. And we'll seriously talk these over. Like, if we make the goal, Cody gets slimed. Shave my head. Yeah, he wants to shave his head. and Color I my hair. Yeah, color his hair. Something... Decent Just for work at least, Just but thinking. yes. So be thinking of some challenges you would like. If we make that five thousand dollars, let us know in the comments there what you, you think. You could color your hair like purple or something. I, could. I mean, this is your job. I guess I could, but maybe some streaks or something. Not all purple. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Is that allowed? Is it allowed? I don't know. To color my hair purple? Yeah. What do you mean, like for church? Yeah. I am the children's pastor. Okay. okay. I've seen them with so, all colors of hair. Okay. The guy at camp has a like a six foot mohawk, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so, it would be okay. Okay. So like she said, put those in the comments and let us know. Yes. Remember that on Wednesdays, kids can check in at 6.45 p.m. And on Sundays, they can check in at 10.45 p.m. Yes. for children's church in the three to kindergarten class. Please remember to print your child's tag off before mm -hmm. coming to class. Yes. It's very important. It helps us not only with attendance, but also for security reasons. Yes, very important there. So before we get started on our lesson today about Elisha, we are going to check in with the Hammer Brothers. They are going to give us some clues. I think they kind of know what our lesson is about today. Let's see if you can figure out what we're going to talk about today. Let's take a listen. Kids, it's me, Jack Hammer, and I am an expert on tools, specifically power tools. And I'm here with my little brother, Sledge, who doesn't know much about tools, because I'm going to teach him. You ready, Sledge? Yeah, sure, bro. Well, today we're going to be talking about one of the most popable power tools out on the market. Popular. Huh? Popular. You mean most popular tools on the market, not poppable. That's what I said. Don't interrupt me, Sledge. Now, let me introduce you to this beauty. Boo yeah. Nice. Do you even know what this is? Yeah, it's a power drill. Nope. <laughs> this is a roast beef sandwich. Now, this is why you need to pay attention. What? I had no idea what you meant. What is this? A power drill? Wrong! This is a parrot. This is ridiculous! Now look here. This is a power drill. That's exactly what I was trying to- Don't interpretate me when I'm talking. Interrupt? Exacto. You mean exactly? What? I am so lost. Pay attention. This is a power drill, and we're gonna have a little contest to see who can drill the fastest. Are you willing to accept the challenge? Sure. All right, and loser has to eat this roast beef sandwich. Doesn't sound so bad. That has been sitting out for 10 days. Ooh. Uh, let me go get you a drill. Here's your drill. Hey, uh... I need to borrow one of your batteries. No. No? Sorry, I, I can't share that. On your mark? Bro, this isn't fair. I have no power. Get set. How am I? Go! Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm the winner! Bro, that wasn't even fair. Eat it. 
I didn't even have power. Eat it. You needed to share one of your- Bro, eat it. You're a hammer. You know the code. A hammer nails it every time. You know, when you said share, it reminded me of a story in the Bible in 2 Kings of a couple of guys that found something and had to decide if they were gonna share it. Yeah, I think you may need to reread that story. Sure thing, little bro. I'm pretty sure our Bible story is talking about the prophet Elisha that we're learning about in this series. Well, in the meantime, I'm Jack Hammer. And I'm sick. No, you're my little brother Sledgehammer. And we'll get back with you the next time the clock says it's Hammer Time. So I heard something about sharing and finding something. Do you think that's about our lesson today? Maybe. Those Hammer Brothers are pretty smart. Maybe. Well, do you know what's up today? No, but I know someone who does. Let's check in with Skittles to tell him, for him to tell us yeah. what's up today. What's up, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh yeah, what's up everybody? It's me, the SKI to the double T-L-E-S. Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are talking about sharing God's love with others. So anytime today that somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them. I will share God's love with the world. Some people think they are something special just because they're a Christian. I'm a Christian, you're not. I got something you ain't got. That ain't what we're supposed to be like. No way. We can't keep God's love to ourselves and act like we're all special and all that. No, we gotta share God's love with others and be humble. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you, what's up? You tell them. I will share God's love with the world. And that right there is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby, yeah. Cody, what's up today? I will share God's love <laughs> with the world. Yes. That's what's up today. That's what's up today. So Sorry, you anytime, me off. You me off. anytime anybody asks you what's up, you tell them. I will share God's love with the world. Yes, that's so important for us to do. Share his love with the world. Well, today our lesson is found in 2 Kings 7. So got your Bible at home, um, go ahead and get there, 2 Kings chapter 7. And we're continuing to learn about the prophet Elisha and see God's power at work in his life. We pick up the story of Elisha at a time when Samaria was at war with the Arameans. I hope I'm saying Armenian. that right. Armenians. Armenians. Arameans. Brother a Nathan and I talked about it. A M E -A Arameans. That's how I'm going to okay. call them. Okay. Arameans. <laughs> okay. The enemy was camped out all around the city, and they were blocking all the food deliveries that were coming into the city. As a result, the people were starving to death. There was nothing to eat, and all um, there was nothing to eat at the stores, nothing to eat at their homes. They had blocked where the food deliveries could come in. So Elisha, he saw this, and he saw this problem, and he shared a word from God with the people, and he told them, he said, I know you're hungry, but tomorrow there will be lots of food. Deliverance is coming. What Elisha said was so crazy and so unlikely that even one of the king's officers was very doubtful. And he said he didn't think it was possible that they were going to have an abundance of food after, you know, there's an army set up outside. 
they, they saw impossibility. They didn't think it was going to happen. However, Elisha knew with God's power, it was possible. So not long after that, there were four lepers. What's a leper? They were men who had to sit outside the city. They had sores on their bodies. Like a disease? Yes, oh, they okay. were considered unclean. So they were sitting outside the city gate and they were talking and they were starving too, just like everybody else. And they knew that if they went into the city, that they would die. If they waited at the gate, they would die. And if they went over to the, um, the camp, the army's camp nearby, they would probably die too. But they also knew there was a crazy chance that they might live if they went to the army's camp. So one of them said to the others, why stay here until we die? If we think we're going to die anyway, let's just, let's just go. Mm -hmm. So the four of them, they took their chances and they went over to the camp and found out, guess what? What? They were gone. The they, camp? The, the, army, the men, army yes. Camp. They had abandoned their camp and they ran away. And guess what they left behind? Everything. Everything, oh including a ton of food. What were they needing? Food. Food, the whole city. Remember, they blocked it. They, they needed food. But when they got there and they discovered that they were gone <clears throat> and they had left everything, they found a ton of food. They were so excited. I think I would have been excited too. <laughs> They, who knows how long they hadn't eaten. Well, they were so excited. They went into the tents and they started chowing down, which I can imagine yeah. they did. But all of a sudden, in the middle of their feast, they stopped and they looked at each other and they said, we're not doing right. This is a day of good news and we're keeping it all to ourselves. They remembered all of the people in Samaria that were starving and they decided it was the right thing to let everyone know so that they could also enjoy all of this food. So they went back into the city gate and they yelled to the guards about the food they had found. Soon all the people rushed out to eat the food and to celebrate the good news that they brought back to them. Everyone was shocked, which I can imagine being, I would have been shocked as well. Everyone was shocked to find out about the food and they realized, especially that officer who doubted at the beginning, they all realized that Elisha was right all along. There was tons of food and their deliverance had come from God. In today's lesson, we will share, we are going to learn about sharing the good news that we have found. What good news have we found? Jesus. Jesus. We're going to learn about sharing the good news of Jesus. And we're going to learn how to do that with God's power. And you guys can do that too. That's what we're going to talk about next. So you guys can share it with everyone. Yes. That's what our, we're going to be talking about today. But before we talk about some ways we can share God's love and God's power and uh, just sharing Jesus with people, we have a power verse in the Bible that talks just about this, about sharing God's word. And we're going to check in with Sven and Glenn, and, and they're, they're going, going to pump, pump wait, and they're going <laughs> to pump you, you up. up. My name is Ben. My name is Glenn. And we are here to pump you up. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I got another knock knock joke. Oh, I want to hear it. Knock knock. Who's there? Irish. 
I reach who? I reach you with hurry up and teach you this power verse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. here it is. Yeah. Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone, everywhere. Mark 16, 15. Ooh, wow. That was a powerful power verse, Glenn. Yeah, hey, do you know what I need? What? I need the girls to stand up. Come on, girls, yeah. stand up, stand up, and say the power verse with me, old Sven, on the count of three. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone everywhere. Mark 16, 15. Ooh, yeah. Great job, girls. You can sit down, sit down. Yeah, yeah. But now I need the boys to stand up yeah. and show us how it's done. Yeah, stand up on your feet and say it with me yeah. on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone everywhere. Mark 16, 15. Oh, 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 that was so powerful. Yeah. Good job. You may have a seat. I have a yeah. seat. Yeah. You know what today's power verse is all about sharing. Yeah. That is one time I shared with you yeah. this awesome workout of how you can pump up your sharing Getty muscle. Oh, yeah. 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 But you know what we, we, we really should share? What? That's way more important than a workout. Tell us. The good news of the gospel. Mm. Yeah, we have to tell the whole wide world. So I'm telling you, everybody, to stand up. Stand up right yeah, now. Yeah, and see the pathos with me and my brother. That's me. Yeah, on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone, everywhere. Mark 16, 15. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was very powerful. Sit down, sit yeah, down. Yeah. Well, sadly, we must go. <sighs> but until next time, when we teach you another powerful power verse, my name is Ben. My name is Glenn. And we'll see you next time when we pop <laughs> you up. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You ask, <laughs> why didn't you get tell me so I could get one? Yeah. Your friend just looks at you and goes, Is that even a friend? Now, I want you to think about how you would feel. Would you be happy with your friend for not sharing the good news mm -hmm. about that toy being on sale? I would be pretty I mean, mad. this was an expensive toy. I'd maybe try to take it. And it was on it. sale for $1. Yeah, I'd maybe try to take it away. So, of course, you would not be happy. I wouldn't. For not sharing the news. You'd probably be pretty mad, like yeah. Miss Sarah just said. Yeah. So, in fact, you'd wonder, how could this person even say that they're my friend mm -hmm. if they won't even tell me the good news when they hear it? Yeah. That's a good point. When we have good news, you should share it. Yes. And that's how it is for Christians, especially. So as Christians, we have been given some amazing good news. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in fact, we have been given the greatest news ever. It's called gospel. Yes. Gospel means the, the good, good news. news from our uh, Bible fat pack. Mm -hmm. Those questions? Yes. That's one of our questions. What is the good news? Yeah. I'm sorry. What is the gospel? The good, the good news. news. So remember, God sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross so that we, again, could have eternal life with him in heaven. Yes. He forgave all our sins and welcomed us into his loving arms in heaven. And he's given us the power of Jesus to defeat any enemy. Mm -hmm. Satan, whenever he tries to trick us, yes. that's our enemy. Yes. So we have the best news and we have to tell everyone. Jesus told his disciples before he ascended to heaven to go and share the good news. He wanted him to share it all around the world with everyone. That reminds me of Colin one day when Sarah's mom uh, was at our house and we had a bunch of other people there and he went over to everybody in that room and he said, hey, did you know Jesus died on the cross? Did you know Jesus died? On and he asked that to everyone yeah. and that was pretty amazing. So, and he drew a picture. And he even drew a picture of the story. Now, this is when Jesus died on the cross. Yeah. This is when he was in the grave. And this is when, but three days, that's yes. what he said. He loves to tell the story. Yes. So, we need to have that in our life and telling other people. Yes. So, Jesus told us all that good news because he knew that the world really needs forgiveness mm -hmm. and salvation. The world is desperate in need for Jesus yes. in that Jesus wants to share the good news and give his forgiveness and salvation to everyone. He also wants to give the power of God because he knows the world really needs it mm -hmm. and they really need it too. And they want it. Mm -hmm. They don't, sometimes they don't know, but they want, they want yeah, it. They need it. Yeah. So our next lesson is the world is starving for truth. Yes. Let that sink in. So the world is starving for truth. Mm -hmm. We're going through a lot of things right now. And the world really, really, really wants to know the truth about God and his good news. Yes. It's really sad that so many people don't know about Jesus. So many people are dealing with so many tough things. Mm -hmm. Their families are going through hard times. They're sick. They're dealing with sin and it hurts so much more. What's even worse is that people are dealing with all this hard time without Jesus. Yeah. The world is starving for the truth of his love, of God's love, and they are desperate to have his help with the hard times in life. Mm -hmm. So since we have the good news and know about God's love and power, yes. we have a responsibility to tell the whole world about yes. it. So that brings us to the next one. We must deliver the truth to the world. Mm -hmm. How many of you guys love pizza? 
Me too. I love pizza. I love with pizza. Sarah. I do too. I love the cheese sauce and the toppings. It's so good. I I ordered some to have be delivered for me right now, so it should be here at, at any moment. I don't know. I think it's gonna be here. It is. Ah, oh, perfect. Your pizza, man. Hey, this is the this must be the pizza that I'm starving for. No, this is mine. Awesome. Um, but this is the pizza that I'm starving for. No, I made it. So it's for me. But but it's for me. I ordered no, it. No, I, I made it. See, it's got my name. Delicious. Okay. Um, See, that's, well, a picture. that's a picture of me. Does that not look like a picture of me? Right there? I, I guess. I mean, that's probably who made it. But that's me. I ordered it. It's for me. I don't know what to tell you. It's all manager, man. Wow, that's not very good, is it? I was starving for pizza, and he had it, but he didn't want to share it with me. Mm -mm. He didn't actually deliver the pizza like he was supposed to. No. But isn't that how it is for Christians sometimes? We have the word that everyone's starving for, Jesus. And sometimes we forget to choose or choose not to share the good news with the people and we hold it to ourselves yes but as christians we must deliver this good news and the truth to the world we have to share the news of jesus with everyone mm -hmm. everyone so when you go to school when you go to walmart go to the park whatever you do on vacation and all these things that are coming up tell the truth and share the truth about jesus when your family, maybe you're with your family that doesn't know Jesus, share the truth about Jesus. Even though most of my family knew about Jesus, mm -hmm. Colin wanted to make sure that they knew. <clears throat> yes, he did. Yeah. And we need to deliver the truth about Jesus to yes, them. Yes, we do. Before we move on to our next part of our lesson, let's pray together and ask God to help us be courageous to be able to share the good news about Jesus, not only with our friends, but maybe our family as well. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for today and for each one that is watching and listening. I pray that each one has the courage to share the good news about Jesus and let everyone they know see the truth of God's love and forgiveness on display in their lives every single day. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, you think they've listened good today? I think so. Let's see. Let's test some of their knowledge. You ready? I am ready. Because what time is it? Brain drain. It is time for brain drain. Let's so. get to our first question. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Back it up. Cody, you're getting too fast. I'm sorry. Okay, it's kind of slow. let's see if they listen to Skittles today when he told us what's up. I did it again. Cody. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should handle the yeah, computer. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. what's up today? I will tell the good news. I will share God's love with the world. Or let's share the news. All of those good things. Mm -hmm. But what's up today? Go ahead. You I will tell share them. God's love with the world. Yes. I just wanted to share I it. I know. You just wanted to share it. Okay. Number two. Quick here. Who doubted Elisha when he said that there would be plenty of food the next day? Was it his followers, the king's officer, or the lepers? It was the, the king's, king's officers. Officer. Uh -huh. You did. Number three. <laughs> Who was at the gate of the city? For lepers, travelers, or kings? For lepers. Yes. Number four. Where did they decide to go? Was it Egypt, the Arameans camp, or away from the city? It is. To their camp. Arameans. <laughs> Arameans. Arameans. 
Number five, what did the lepers find in the Arameans camp? Was it nothing, people, or food? It was food. Food. Number six, what did they decide to do when they stopped eating? Hmm. Share the good news with the Samari Samarians, leave the camp, or sleep? Hmm. If you guessed. Well, they can't get, they gotta know. They listen. They shared the good news with the Samaritans. Right. They left, they said, we can't keep this to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We've gotta go tell everybody. Number seven, according to our lesson today, we have been given some amazing, good gifts, news, or food. Cody tried to get some good food, but that pizza man, I know it's usually KFC night, but I was really wanting some pizza. Well, not today. Not today. Not today. That's right. He gives us some good news. Number eight. According to the lesson today, the world is starving for living water, candy, or truth. Hmm. If you guessed or said, Truth, Truth, because you knew. Yeah, they're not the they, answer. These are smart kids we're dealing know, with here. They don't have to guess. Hey, I just want to tell you on Wednesday night when I had, I made some questions to the video series that we're doing. Yeah. And they were hard questions. And there were four um, scriptures, scriptures yeah. like random scriptures just in there. And they told me three of the four, which was very impressive because yeah. they were just randomly. He randomly said it. Yeah. And they remembered him. They're so pretty they're, smart they're kids. Smart. I know they are. They listen very well. They do. Number nine, according to our lesson today, we must what? The truth to the world. We must deliver, share, or give the truth to the world. Just like the pizza, we must deliver. We must deliver. Number, Number 10. 10, where was our power verse found? Matthew 6, 5. Mark 16, 15, or John 3, 4? Mm. If you said Mark 16, 15, you are correct. You are and correct. And don't forget, this is the power verse. power verse. So put your videos online. We want to see a ton of you again. It was exciting to see you guys. Yes. Exciting to see everybody that posts them. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. just last week, but the week yeah, before. Yeah, all the weeks. There was just one last week. Yeah. We... That's our lesson today. We are so thankful that you guys joined us uh, to be a part of this today. We hope that you get out and spread the good news to somebody this week. That's our challenge to you. We hope to see you Sunday at 11. Remember that um, it is Promotion Sunday. Step Up Sunday. Yes, Step Up Sunday. Questions. So we are, so if you come to Children's Church, there might be a few new faces in there. Yeah. Some of those kids that are stepping up. So there may be a few not here because they've stepped up into youth. Yeah, it's sad. We just, we have a couple, yeah. But that's okay. Very emotional. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys Sunday. One, one last thing, though. Remember, on the BGMC thing, so really oh, put yes. stuff in there because I will do it. And... We want to do kind of a short timeline, so maybe two or three weeks, maybe a month. Well, fundraising. to get to 5,000, that's our no, yearly goal. No, I mean, goal. but have, a main, have our big thing. Oh, you mean you want you to do mean, that for the 5,000? Yeah, if we um, make five, if we raise $5,000, okay. gotcha. that that's going to happen. That's so funny. They're going to help us We need to do some, something. like, things in, the, in between them. Well, we can think about that, too. We'll find out how much we need and if we can have it. Uh, on track to get it. Yeah, we can we'll divide it up. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll do. You want to see Cody? So, thank you guys <laughs> for uh, allowing us to share the gospel with you guys at your homes. Yes. And remember to post your video and to say something about BGMC. Yes. So, so we'll see you, you Sunday or Wednesday night. Have a great week.